So today we're gonna go ahead and clean out the barn here at the house. Uh, we're gonna pull the rams out, get all the ewes combined, and then set this pin up here for them so that way we're ready for lambing to begin. So to start with, I need to pull the rams out of the pins. Uh, the one ram, uh, the bigger one that we call Bert, he's not used to the halter, so I'm gonna go ahead and put one on him, take him out and put him on the stock trailer. I can split the stock trailer into two different portions. Then I'll go ahead and put a halter on the other ram, Rusty, and just tie him up. Uh, he's pretty used to the halter. He stays calm while it's on him. And then I'll pull all the ewes out. I built this temporary pin down here in the corner of this barn. Um, this way we'll be able to just move the ewes across and put them in here and lock them in so that way they don't have to go outside in the weather. Come on up here. Let's go. Get up here up front. Oh no. So with him on the trailer, uh, this Rusty right here, he comes right up to the corner. I'll be able to just tie him up. I'm gonna tie him right here to the corner of this feeder and then we'll get all the ewes out and then I'll take down a gate and take him out this way, right onto the trailer. <laughs> So I got the barn doors closed right here, kind of make like a natural alleyway for them to get down here into this pen area. What I need to do is take these two wooden gates off, uh, kind of like hook them up here to the blue gates, and we'll get these ewes out with their lambs, put them in that pen. Then we'll get the ewes out of the pen that Rusty's tied up in. And then these guys will come out last, and we'll pin them up over here in this corner where they'll sit for a couple hours while I clean all this out. The ram's doing pretty good tied up over there, so I'm gonna go ahead and just get the other set of ewes out. That way I can just get everybody contained down here where they need to be. Move, move. 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 Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Move. Hold on. Come on now, girls. Get down there. Come on. Come on, big girl. Come on now. No, not you. Come on. Keep moving. Keep moving. Get down in here. Come on now, girls. So I ended up just taking the ram out this side of the barn into the cattle trailer. Like I said, he does pretty good on the halter. He didn't give me too much trouble getting on there, but he's not really happy to be away from these ewes. Uh, he's in there jumping around in the trailer right now. We got the ewes all pinned up right here. And then I went ahead and just dropped some of these gates here in the front. Uh, what I want to do is just come in this way with a skid steer and start taking stuff out and preparing it to get ready to be spread. So it's going pretty good so far. It's so cold out, my battery won't stay charged up on the camera. But I got about a third of it done. Uh, I got this front section. Most of this here, we're gonna keep working on it. Uh, we need to get it done here in the next hour or two. So I wasn't able to film setting up these pins or getting the sheep moved over into them because with the temperatures that we were having that day, my battery and my camera was only lasting about 15 seconds and shutting off. So here's what it looks like now. We have two pins on this end. Uh, they both have access to these different hay feeders. 
On this end's Rusty, on that end's Bert, our two Rams. That way they're over here out of the way. And then it opens up on this side to the U-pin. Uh, we made a few changes on this side. One of the big changes, uh, we made it eight feet longer this way towards me. Um, and then these two fence line hay feeders were down here on this end. I ended up putting them up here at this end. The reason why I did that, because if I wanted to expand the pin anymore, it'd be a lot easier to bring it out this way. And all I do is have to unhook it from each side and just pull it back, uh, make expansion a little bit easier on me. Another reason why I really like having these fence line feeders down on this end is we got a barn door right here. And so I'll be able to open this gate up make a little runway so whenever I have to sort use or move them around or load them up, I'll be able to back up really close to their pin and we really won't have to move them too far. And then currently, all our ewes are in this pin right now. Three of them need to go down to the bank barn. Those are the three that had lambs in the fall. It was just, I needed to get this done. I didn't have time to sort them off. And with the weather we've had this last week, we've had a lot of snow and ice. I haven't really wanted to take the time to get them loaded up and deal with all that, getting them moved over there and unloaded. And I'm really glad we were able to get this pin set up done before we started lambing. What I want to do is, once we start lambing, is set up the lambing jugs down in this corner. They're eight feet by four feet. They'll extend out here into this pin. And then that way, once these ewes are ready to leave the lambing jug with their lambs, we're going to split this pin in half by running gates down from these two fence line feeders down to the red gate in the back. And on this side will be used with their lambs, and on this side will be used waiting to lamb. And then as more and more ewes have their lambs, we'll continually make the pen bigger for the ewes with lambs. And ultimately, it'll make things a lot easier on me and more efficient for the ewes and their lambs. Um, because we'll be able to access the ewes and their lambs a lot easier when they're in their lambing jugs from this side because we won't have to get in the pen with the rest of the sheep. We'll be able to hop right over out of this walkway. Also, if they need a heat lamp or anything like that, we got a lot more electrical outlets on this wall that we can just run a short cord over to. We don't have to try to string it around the barn getting into the spot that we had the lambing jug set up at, at the time. So I'm really happy with how this new pen setup turned out. I think it's going to work really well for us, but once these ewes start lambing, that's going to be the ultimate test and we'll find out. Well, that'll wrap up this video. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe.